What's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology again and today we will discuss another secret of the astrology series and today we will discuss on three levels of Venus level one level two level three yes oh my god Venus has only one level right it is the spouse <laughs> No, it doesn't have one level. It has one, two, three levels. Yes. If you are new to the channel, then subscribe to it. And if you like this video, then click the thumbs up. And if you like this video, then check my other videos, especially on the Bhagavad Gita, which I have started. And if you are interested in doing some donation for contributing to this channel, then the link to PayPal is there in the comments. You can go and do some donation or else continue watching this video till the end now what is the meaning of three levels of venus venus as we know is the significator of our spouse the husband the wife the girlfriend the boyfriend whoever is your partner if even if you're a homosexual it represents your partner for a boy it can be a boy and for a girl it can be a girl also yes because it is that conjugal bond which we find with another person, which we do not find with anybody else in this universe, yes. Now, why do I say three levels of Venus? Because Venus acts in three different levels of perfection. When I say perfection, I mean goodness. Goodness in the sense of its original agenda. What is the original agenda of Venus? There are three levels to this yes the first agenda is <coughs> when we consider the sign of Taurus because Venus owns the sign of Taurus and Libra and it gets exalted in the sign of Pisces therefore the first trait the first agenda of Venus on a gross level is to give you the things related to Taurus on a higher level it is Libra and on even higher level it is Pisces because the planet wants to take you to these places yes Taurus Libra and Pisces now what is the sign Taurus Taurus as we know is the original second house of the zodiac belt yes number two is the sign Taurus therefore Taurus originally represents anything that is connected to the second house which is what family Primarily it represents food and it also represents the face because second house is this part of the body. You see till here is the first house and then from here is the second house. So it also represents looks, beauty, how appealing a person is. Yes. And it represents all the non-living luxuries that we have. Like I have this webcam, I have this microphone. I have this laptop, MacBook, that is a luxury which I have, yes. Then I have my phone, Nexus 5X, that is another luxury. And then I'm sitting in this beautiful room, that is another luxury. Because luxury is controlled by the planet Venus, yes. Luxury is those things without which we can sustain, but they add a lot of meaning and value and flavor to our life. That is the meaning of the word luxury. And then Taurus also represents drinks, it represents gold, it represents money, liquid cash is represented by the sign Taurus because second house is originally the house of money, 11th house is the house of gains and money as well. But second house is your combined wealth, combined savings, your total income is seen in the 7th house which you get from all the sources. Yes, that is the second house. So Venus represents liquid cash, liquid money, dealings of cash. And then it also represents different juices, wine, alcohol. All these things are represented by the sign Taurus. Although Saturn is the significator for wine. <laughs> and Rahu is the significator of drugs. But Venus generally represents those liquids which represent luxury. Which you just go and drink when you want to have a good time with somebody those things are represented by the sign Taurus it represents vehicles it represents 
home. It represents all the embroidery, it represents clothes, it represents colors, it represents beauty, it represents paintings, all the things related to Venus. It represents all the non-living things of Venus, yes. Non-living things means the things which you enjoy. You means only you, not an anybody else, only you, the things which only you enjoy. Those things are represented by the sign Taurus, flowers, bouquet, invitation cards, everything in this world. All the things are controlled by Taurus, cosmetics, eyeliner, face liner, body liner, everything. All these things come under the sign of Taurus. So that is the first level of Venus where we find a lot of happiness in delighting in Things related to luxury and things related to home, things related to food. Oh my God, food is also the sign Taurus because it's number two. Therefore, people always like to eat food. Yes, and nobody will eat food which is not good. Because for food to be palatable, the, the number one con condition is it should be good. Why? Because food comes under the second house. And the original second house of the zodiac belt of the Kalpurush Kundali, if you consider Aries ascendant, then it is ruled by Venus. That means unless there is beauty into it, unless there is goodness, sweetness into it, you will not eat the food. <laughs> that is why whenever the food is tasteless or whenever it's not very good, you are like, oh my God, I just don't want to eat it. Because the food has to be good. Because Venus represents all the good things in life. Yes. If the food is not good, you will not eat it. You will throw it. So these are the luxury things which you enjoy yourself without anybody. Yes. Cosmetics, etc. Deodorants, perfumes, all the things. That enhance your appeal. That enhance your looks. The way you feel about yourself. All these things come under the sign Taurus. Then... Next is the sign Libra. What is Libra? Libra is basically higher version of Taurus because it is the Mool Trikon Rashi of Venus. Mula Trikon. See, Trikon refers to internal constituency. And Mula means the grass root. Mula Trikon simply means what the planet is ultimately made of. If you want to know, then go to its multicon sign. So what is the multicon sign for Venus? It is Libra, which is the original seventh house of the zodiac, which is what relationships, sexuality, partners, other people, contracts, deals, negotiations, agreements. Yes, dealings with other people. All these things come under the sign Libra. That means the primary agenda of Venus is to help you get married <laughs> by bringing the partner yes by bringing your spouse now why is libra the multicon sign why is not taurus the multicon sign taurus could also have been the multicon sign of venus but why is it not because libra represents sharing because unless you share what you have in this world suppose you are the only person in this world and you have all the riches of this planet. But the only problem is there is nobody to enjoy with. You are the only person who is enjoying these things. You will go mad. You will go crazy, right? <laughs> if there is nobody to talk to. Or in worst case, it can still happen that you are staying with a bunch of people. And if things are not very good, then you may still end up feeling lonely. Even if there are 20 people around you. Yes, that can also happen. But in general... If there is nobody to share things with, then you feel very miserable. You feel, you feel, you don't feel valued. Yes, when you are just doing things alone and there's no appreciation, there's no reciprocation. What if only you are doing and you know the other person is not doing for you? Then you do not feel appreciated. Then you do not feel recognized. You do not feel valued. You don't feel happy. Yes. That is why Venus is also the significator of happiness. How happy you feel about yourself and how good you feel about yourself. Therefore, 
unless you share things you learn the art of giving you learn the art of balancing venus doesn't go into libra venus stays in the sign of taurus that is why venus is much more happier in libra than in taurus it is also happy in taurus but it is more happier in libra than it is in taurus because ultimately when you share things with others you find fulfillment in that you share they share the law of abundance is exemplified here whatever you give to the other person the other person also gives back to you it is the sign of balance balance what is libra balance balance means balance in everything that is why venus and libra people can be quite balanced when it comes to matters of love career relationship and every aspect in their life because libra energy has the power to make saturn exalted so any planet in libra will behave like an exalted saturn which means whenever it comes to relationships the person gives long term commitment the person values the other person the person will try to be very hard working be very he will try to do his best because saturn gets exalted in libra and saturn is the significator of hard work so the person when it comes to traits related to venus will be very hard working yes when it comes to the sign of libra when venus is placed there but there is another sign for venus where it finds its highest contentment even more than in the mole trigon sign of libra which is that yes you are right it is the sign of exaltation it is the sign of its exaltation which is pisces which is the sign ruled by jupiter why does venus get exalted there why not in the sign of libra because libra is about sexuality romance love creativity fun all these traits come under libra but why does it find highest level of contentment in something else because for this you have to revert back to the shrimad bhagavatam there you see you have to know how to connect the shlokas which are there in the scriptures two different houses of astrology two different areas of astrology in bhagavatam it is said in the vedanta sutra because vedanta sutra is the end of the conclusion of the vedas because that's the word veda anta veda is referring to the four vedas in general but vedas also in general refer to spiritual sound which has come from the almighty yes if you consider that then the quran bible everything is a veda actually but when i say veda here i mean specifically the four vedas from the vedic tradition so the word veda anta means the end of the vedas which means the conclusion so vedanta sutra is one of the literature works by the great sage ved vyas who wrote the scriptures all of them most of them i mean and then in the vedanta sutra he has given the meaning of this word athato brahma jigyasa and in that he also says raso vaisaha i will explain what all these means is raso vaisaha it means that the absolute truth which is god is the source of all happiness that is the meaning of this word, uh, shloka raso vaisaha in the vedanta sutra it is there and then the vedanta sutra also tells anandamayo abhyasat should i repeat anandamayo abhyasat anandamayo abhyasat anandamayo abhyasat simply means that the living entity the soul is searching for abundant level of happiness unlimited happiness it is searching which cannot be fulfilled in this material realm yes that is the meaning of the shloka anandamayo abhyasat and it is there in the vedanta sutra and shrimad bhagavatam is a natural commentary to the vedanta sutra natural commentary means when a person decides to explain what is there in a book to you in his own words in a way which is uh, more understandable for you that is the meaning of the a word a natural commentary so vyasdev is the author of both the bhagavatam and the vedanta sutra also 
So in the Vedanta Sutra, whatever he wrote, Veda Anta means the end conclusion of the Vedas. So in that he has written this, Ananda Maya Bhyasa. So in that, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, the meaning is explained. Meaning of this word, uh, the shloka Ananda Maya Bhyasa is explained, which means that the soul, the chitta, the atma is searching for unlimited level of bliss, which is only to be found in not here, with God. <laughs> Therefore, Venus, which represents our ability to be happy, when it is in Taurus, it is very happy. It is with luxuries, it is with uh, wine, dine, it is with uh, beautiful clothes. Yes, people get happy when they come into association with Taurus. And people are much more happier when they are with a good person, with a maybe good looking partner or maybe with a wealthy partner or whatever you call it. But it cannot find happiness there. It has to go to the sign of Pisces, which is ultimately the sign of Moksha, which is the sign of liberation, which is the sign of spiritual perfection. It is the sign of spiritual elevation, spiritual upliftment, spiritual contentment. So this, this is the sign of Pisces. So Venus, which is what? Our ability to be happy in this world. First by luxury, second by staying with others. Third is the universal consciousness. See, Taurus is only you, you and the things. Then Libra is sharing, you and your partner. But that is also not enough. You cannot find happiness there also. You have to go to the spiritual wisdom. You have to go to light. Athato Brahma Jigyasa. That is another verdict of the Vedanta Sutra, which means, therefore, you inquire about the higher knowledge. So that means that unless you connect to the higher source, the power source, Venus will not be exalted. Venus may be in Libra, but it is still frustrated. Oh my God, what did I just say? Venus in Libra is frustrated. Yes, it is. When I say frustrated, it doesn't mean it is terrible, it is bad. But frustration simply means that it does not have the energy to feel contented to feel happy within itself. Yes. That is why it is going and searching for some other house in the zodiac belt to find exaltation. Otherwise, Venus would get exalted in Libra. That is why people, when they say that we are having a great relationship, we are having a good relationship, but still we are miserable, we are unhappy. No, it is not because that there is a problem in the relationship. It is because... God is not there in the center of your lives. That is why you are miserable. You are crying. Not because that there is a problem of compatibility in the person or in both of you. It is simply that there is a level of saturation which has been reached in your relationship. You have had the best of each other and now you are bored. Now you are frustrated because Venus does not get exalted there. You cannot find ultimate happiness in relationships it is not possible there you see exaltation of venus first is you yourself second is with the partner and the third is with god and somebody may say oh you are only talking of spirituality always i am not talking this is parashar muni's dictum i am just spreading whatever he has told that that is ultimately the meaning of venus in the sign of pisces all right that is it from my side. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and check out my other videos. And if you have any questions, queries or comments related to this video, or if you have any other explanation for this video, then please let me know in the comment section. Therefore, winding up with the verses, Athato Brahma Jigyasa, Anandamayo Bhyasa. These two are the verses that which... We need to take care when we think of Venus. The soul is searching for unlimited happiness, not some mundane happiness of this world. Yes. There you go. Wish you great luck with your exalted Venus. Until next time. Bye-bye. See you.